All right, hi, Scorpio. This is going to be your reading. This is for Scorpio placements. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Make sure you flip and switch the roles and pick what side of the story you're on. Okay, so what do Scorpio placements need to know right now? So we have air and ooh, we got air and fire. So some of you guys can have air and fire placements or you could be dealing with somebody that has air and fire in their chart. So air signs would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fire would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. It could be an air or fire sign with Scorpio placements. Uh, seek a union of mind and spirit. And then we have reckless actions lead to conflict. Okay. So be careful of being impulsive. Or reckless, so this is somebody else. What else? What else for Scorpio? The wizard, love, and serendipity. So we got Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. Okay. Somebody's jealousy could be making them want to do something reckless. Some of you guys can need to work with the energy of Medusa. Uh, okay, something could be consuming somebody mentally because of jealousy, bitterness, or something here. Y'all could need to work with this energy. You know, yeah, we have the wolf. Beware of who you trust. Capricorn got that and Cancer. And we have, yeah, the serpent, a sly and subtle approach is needed. Hmm. We'll see. What's air here? Seek a union of mind and spirit. Yeah, four wands, Venus and Aries. Some y'all could be somebody could be somebody could be making a big purchase for land, a home, a new place. Um, this could even be some type of party or celebration for Libra season. I don't know somebody here could be a Libra or a fire sign or something. Um, four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be trying to take something from somebody. Or because the Four of Pentacles in reverse is a thief. Four of Wands in reverse, Venus and Aries. This could be about home, family, community. Some of you guys could be looking for a new home, a new roommate. You could be looking for new friends. What's this, uh, a new soul tribe? Let's seek a union of mind and spirit a connection that's more balanced here yeah, the tower in reverse some of you guys could be avoiding a disaster in regards to your connections and whether this is friends lovers family whatever by your i feel like you guys are seeking more stability you guys don't want to do the emotional roller coaster you guys want you guys could be being more logical when it comes to situations now Okay, four of wands. Somebody could be getting a home built from scratch. Four of wands. Or you could be changing things in your home. Yeah, ten of wands here. Somebody could be moving. Saturn and Sagittarius. This could be happening in Libra season. Libra, yeah. Or Aquarius season, Gemini season of next year. But ten of wands here, Saturn and Sag here. This is like burdens, responsibilities. Yeah, some of you guys want somebody that can share the load. Like you don't want you guys are realizing that in order to have something stable with another person, they have to be able to carry their own weight. Period. Ten of wands. <laughs> Emotionally, financially, physically, yeah, ten of swords here. You could be seeing ten, ten on the clocks, Gemini, sun energy. Somebody could be weighed down and burdened by obligations, responsibilities. Mm, what's this ten of swords? Ten of swords about? Yes, okay, this, oh, sheesh, four swords here. I don't know if somebody's coming to somebody's front door with like uh, bags, garbage bags or luggage and things. I don't know if somebody here is on the run or they need a place to stay or sleep temporarily. Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius. I mean, Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius and Four of Swords, Jupiter and Libra. Somebody's definitely in their head, restless. I 
feel like your home is protected, Scorpio. Somebody could have been trying to curse your stability or something like that, but you're protected. Somebody could be really overthinking, feeling restless. Seven, seven and four swords, please. What is that? Yeah, the fool here. Aquarius, Aries, energy. Somebody here could be moving, going like moving in silence or going undetected, being quiet, si you know, moving in silence. Somebody could be doing this while somebody is sleeping. What's the fool here? Or somebody, yeah, somebody's doing something very quiet. Cancer Pisces, somebody could be doing something to someone in their dream state or energetically or they, somebody here is walking out or escaping or leaving something in the middle of the night type shit when somebody's in a deep sleep cancer pisces here but i feel like somebody is trying to move in silence or this is what you need to do you guys could be in a new partnership you need to keep it quiet possibly or whatever new beginnings you're getting keep it to yourself high priestess or at least keep it offline high priestess here yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy air sign. You or somebody got air in their chart. Capricorn energy is, is as well. The devil. This could be somebody who's... Somebody here could be really narcissistic. They're really selfish. All they care about is themselves. They're really greedy. Selfish. They like to overindulge. Somebody here can also be a, a, a fucking habitual liar. Somebody here could be purposely like going silent or quiet. I don't know if somebody was trying to get a reaction out of you. I don't know. I, I got that for Le one of Libra's recent readings. Somebody here is trying to rage bait somebody. Some of you guys are avoiding a, a tower. We're going to see how. Maybe you guys are using your logic. I don't know. But or you could be, somebody here could be keeping something to themselves. Somebody here is not speaking up about something. What's, who's this King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, nine of swords. Oh, somebody here could not be in their right mind. Somebody's hairline could be receding, child. But this is a man. Or something is something about somebody's mind is like not all the way there no more. I don't know. This could be a father figure to you. Or you can have kids with this person. This could be a parent, like well, a friend, a sip, whoever. It's some, it's a masculine energy here. Uh, nine of Swords. Somebody Mars and Gemini. Somebody feels really guilty, remorseful. This person could be trying to project fear onto you or get you in your head. I don't know what they're saying or not saying or what they're doing. Somebody here is a liar. Somebody could be getting caught in their lies, or something is catching up to somebody. Tower in reverse. Ace of Wands. So some, I don't know if some of you guys got an inkling to move or do something. What's the tower in reverse? Okay, Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody here could be acting out. Throwing tantrums when they don't get their way. I don't, okay. Maybe somebody has to move like this because whoever they're trying to get away from is going to act out. Somebody's behavior could be really predictable too. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Page of Cups. <laughs> Somebody gets in their feelings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. Somebody gets in their feelings and then they act out. Or somebody's trying to like pull or tug on some type of inner child wound at somebody. Somebody's playing around in someone's sacral chakra. And it could be because there is some repressed emotions that somebody has about some uh, about like a, a inner wound that they have that they haven't really fully addressed or made peace with. You and this person here could be repressing e your your um emotions for each other. Both of y'all could be trying to be logical. There's a common yeah. There could be blocked communication. Three of Swords here. Somebody here is not expressing something. I don't know if somebody's trying to avoid their feelings or this person's being really cold, really aloof. This person could have a, a big fear of like commitment or feelings. This could be another water sign or air sign or they got air in their chart somewhere or they're just in this distorted air-like energy. Air is about communication, the mind. So this person is not really thinking clearly. 
or logically and they, they could be scatterbrained. This could be due to fear, insecurity, guilt, whatever this is. Somebody here is not telling, with the high priestess, somebody here is not telling you something. Or this is you, Queen of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Somebody could be getting bad news. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Chariot here, Cancerian energy. If this person is, some of you guys are like, I'm getting out of Dodge. I don't have time. Yeah, I don't know if somebody thinks something is funny, but I just feel like a lot of you got, yeah, the lovers here. Some of you guys, you want something more committed. You want something solid. Gemini and Taurus energy. You or someone can have Gemini and Taurus in your chart. Cancer placements as well. I feel like y'all leaving somebody behind. You're moving forward. And this is how you're avoiding a disaster. You're going in a different direction. And this is going to have somebody what, up in their head. This person could be really bitter about this. What's the chariot? King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. April Aries, April Taurus. Somebody could be a police officer. Correctional officer. What's this king of pentacles in reverse? Something about this person's finances, their health. This person could have really major insecurities. Maybe both of you do. Somebody could be trying to over, with the charity is overcoming adversity. This could have something to do with somebody's stability. Maybe this is why they act like this. I don't know. Or this is you, king of, somebody here is, but is really superficial though. Somebody here could be living beyond their means, too. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Five of Swords. This person wasn't going to really commit anyway. This person could be really flighty. They're really in and out. Restless. They might not really know what they want. You can't do nothing with this person. Five of Swords here. Venus and Aquarius. Yeah, this person is up to no good. This person could be at a distance from you. I feel like this person battles with stuff about themselves. I don't know. This person could be could also have addictions, codependency, commitment issues. They play a lot of mind games. They act out. They're really childish. Their inner child is really triggered. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're not wasting time on this. Somebody, yeah, page your cups in reverse. Somebody, you could have been idolizing something or somebody was trying to sell you a dream or an illusion. Go watch your last reading I did where somebody, you left somebody right where they had you fucked up at. This is a continuation. Or somebody left you where you had them fucked up at. Flip and switch it. Cross watch your seven of pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. Yeah, you're not wasting time. Somebody, you could be standing up to this person and they could be being really narky or trying to gaslight you or... I don't know. I don't know if somebody thinks you're gullible, naive. Somebody here is really obsessed with their image, how they're perceived here. Somebody here could have also been like abused, trigger warning as a child. This person is also really defensive. Their life is a fucking mess. They're uncompromising. They're rigid. Okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the moon here, they got secrets. They're not being honest about things. They misinterpret things that you say on purpose. Or they keep, they withhold information from you on purpose, man or woman. Yeah, no. You want somebody that's honest. This could be unrequited love or this person. Even if they do have feelings for you because of the way they're acting, you can't do nothing with this person. Or they can't do shit with you. Cancer Pisces energy here. Somebody here could have let their fear get in the way. Some type of subconscious beliefs or whatever this is. Somebody could have self-sabotaged something. Somebody could have also did something in haste. Maybe somebody here was hesitant or they're second guessing something, taking a second look. They could be they could have changed their mind. I don't know. I feel like somebody here is scatterbrain. Somebody here is scatterbrain. What's the moon? Yeah, four of cups. This could be a missed opportunity. Moon and cancer. You could be seeing four, four, four. This person is very oppressive or they're just, they don't know how to express their throat chakra could be blocked with all this air energy. They can't think or see straight. Uh, who got 444? Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini, 
Yeah, so you or them can have those signs in your chart. You may want to go watch those readings. Somebody here could also be afraid of rejection. It's like, oh, I'm going to hurt you or leave you before you hurt or leave me. I feel like somebody here, they didn't really, because of their fears or because of whatever they're not expressing or saying. And you have good intentions with this person. I mean, the four of wands, you were seeking stability. You were willing to take a risk, but maybe this person was not. Again, this person wasn't forth, wasn't really forthcoming with you either about some type of fear, worry, stress, or whatever anxiety they had about something. Or this is you. I feel like somebody here is going to end up missing. Something could have been a false start. It could be really disappointing. What's the four of cups here? Your judgment. This could be somebody that you reconciled with or somebody that, you know... You guys had history with, with the judgment here. Somebody could be ignoring somebody's calls, texts. They could be doing this on purpose. Okay, somebody here could want your forgiveness. Maybe they or I feel like you ain't paying attention to this person. I feel like you're moving forward. What's the why why is it not a swords here? What are they worried about? Okay, six of wands in reverse. Not getting a victory, feeling like a loser, embarrassed, rejected. Somebody has a really big ego. Jupiter and uh, Leo, somebody needs a lot of validation, a lot of attention. Somebody's extremely insecure. Somebody's obsessed with their image. They could have had a really bad upbringing. They could have had a really traumatic upbringing. This person just, this could have been a test to see if you were going to accept whatever this person was giving you or if you were going to leave it behind and move forward. Some of y'all passed. Some of y'all, is the test, the, the, the test score is still pending. <laughs> Yeah, but some of y'all are getting the fuck away from somebody. And it could be easier for you guys to do this because you've learned your lessons. You've done the shadow work or you're working on yourselves. The empress here, your self-esteem, your confidence, your self-worth. Okay, Leo here with the, yeah, some of you guys have a counterpart coming in anyway. You just need to be more patient. Somebody, somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant. This could be somebody, an ex of yours that's spying on you and you could be starting a family or you could be going into a new connection. You're with somebody that's on the same level as you, and they could be disappointed and heartbroken by this. But they under but they could have undervalued you or overlooked you or rejected you, or they didn't really care to meet your needs. So it's like, what are you sad about? People, I, I it's annoying. But go fuck what are you sad about? Seriously. <laughs> What's the judgment? Y'all could be needing to forgive or release resentment at least. What's the judgment? What's this judgment about? Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody can have fire in their chart. Could be a Cancer, July Cancer, July Leo. A lot of masculine energy. The King of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. And we got this King of Wands here. Somebody wants to reunite something. It could be really just about sex. Somebody just wants your attention or validation. Somebody's very insecure. Somebody just likes to have people on their dick or they like to have people on their pussy, whatever. Woman or man, man or woman. Somebody's not really a real follower. They're really insecure. Somebody could also be worried about what people are going to think about them or say about them. I don't know. Somebody here, what, feels embarrassed by, okay, by somebody. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody here. Something about your energy was cloaked. You could have been this person's test. Virgo here. This person could have been really shallow, really superficial. And I feel like somebody could have failed their test miserably. You or somebody can have Virgo in their chart. Somebody here doesn't really want to be seen or perceived. Something about somebody's identity is cloaked. Whether they're doing this on purpose or your energy was cloaked purposely from source. I don't know, but who's this king of wands? Yeah, three of cups in reverse. Mercury and Cancer. This person could have had a lot of options. Yeah, you walked away from this person. They could have been breadcrumbing you or having sex with you, having sex with other people. You don't need to be dealing with that. That's a health issue waiting to happen. Somebody here is just in and out. They're reckless. They don't want to take no risk. 
but they're a daredevil. This person got a lot of trauma. And this crazy thing is they do, they, they, something could have had the potential. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. But this person could have had a, somebody here has a lot, a big ego. They could have had third parties, other men, other women. Somebody had a lot of options. Again, somebody here likes to overindulge. And they're not really, even, somebody here lacks intimacy on the emotional front. Or they, the only thing they know how to show intimacy in is sex. Somebody could have been sleeping with somebody's friend. What's the three of cups in reverse? Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Somebody has a, somebody can have a sex addiction. This person could even be a thief. This person could, somebody could have been trying to destiny swap. Or this person, getting being, being stuck to this person is going to fuck up your karma. Man or woman, nine of cups in reverse. Or if you're a man and you're mistreating women, it's going to fuck up your bag. Uh, using women for sex or all types of things is going to fuck with your money. Nine of cups in reverse. Something could have been something with... Somebody has a male... There's a man here who has a friend that's competing with them or gossiping. Somebody could have been gossiping about your somebody's sex life or who they've been with and shit, digging up somebody's past or just all types of weird stuff. Or this person can't really let go of their past. Nine of Cups in reverse, Jupiter and Pisces. Yeah, somebody has really bad attachments and addictions. Somebody has a mask at their shadow side. Somebody could feel really alone. Somebody here could be losing friends or you just, some of you guys, you could be just seeking people. Maybe you're getting rid of certain friends who are really selfish. These are only people that you can have fun with, drink with, but you don't really trust them. They gossip or they could have been talking about your business. And it could have changed the way somebody saw you. Or somebody here just has a lot of a, a lot of sexual attachments. You see how all these couples are reaching up and touching this devil. This person can have a lot of addictions. Alcohol, drugs, sex, materialism, whatever. What's the hermit real quick? This person could ghost a lot or they just... What's the hermit? Yeah, the knight of wands. Somebody needs to go see, okay, a doctor or something. Or somebody's worried about they may have something. Knight of Wands, November Sash, November Scorpio. Somebody, if this person sleeps, if somebody here is reckless with their sex life and they like to sleep around. So if you've been dealing with this person, you need to go get checked. Somebody can have a really bad temper. They got a chip on their shoulder. They're afraid to take risks. This person is paranoid. They're, they're, they're afraid of everything. But yet they're really reckless. It's like, I don't understand that. I don't understand how people won't take a risk to start a business, to start a, a beautiful relationship that has potential, to go back to school, to start a hobby. But you're reckless when it comes to putting your life at risk, your health at risk by sleeping around and being reckless. Make that make sense? Anyways, Medusa, jealousy leads to downfall. What's this? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. December Capricorn, December Sag. Somebody's really, yeah, this could be, this person could be with somebody. They can have kids with this person. Some of you guys have a friend, a family member, a cousin, or a friend of the family who's extremely jealous of you. Okay. Or oh, this is this person's spouse or whoever they got kids with. Yeah, somebody here could be like doing things. Uh, I'm... Y'all could be having really sexual dreams or just weird shit. Somebody's trying to energy harvest through sex. Okay. So, and this queen of pentacles in reverse is a dark witch. They do spell work. They do root work, by the way. Medusa. And somebody here could be doing root work and hoodoo voodoo out of jealousy. Somebody here could be a dark witch. And that's why they're not, okay. Medusa. Yeah, will of destiny swapping, will of fortune in reverse. Something could be happening to this person's health. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your fine something about your finances or your health could be recovering while somebody else's is not. It's like every time this person does something to you, something happens to them and they just don't get the hint. Or they don't get something that they want or something doesn't go their way. They don't get the hint that, oh, maybe I should stop doing what I'm doing. Things aren't going my way. Maybe I should just stop being hateful. It's like, I I'm telling you, people don't know how to manage their emotions. It's, it's crazy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody here is spiritually spying on somebody. 
trying to steal or take something from somebody. Somebody's really, somebody here is lazy. They don't want to do that. Somebody, you know, somebody wants to take credit for somebody else's work, meaning this could even be somebody's a creative idea. So it can simply be that somebody has done a lot of spiritual work. They worked on themselves to get to where they're at energetically or whatever, whatever they have in life. And somebody else wants to come along and energy harvest because they're too lazy to do the damn work. They don't want to take a risk. So somebody that did take a risk, somebody that did do the inner work, they want to take from that person. And y'all wonder why things don't go y'all way. Like, I don't understand this. Page of Swords. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here wanted to take an opportunity from somebody out of jealousy. This could be about money, a promotion, a job, a relationship, whatever this is. <laughs> a connection. Somebody here is trying to take steal somebody else's essence. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Somebody shape shifting all types of stuff. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, March Pisces, March Aries. Yeah, somebody's been projecting. Some of you guys are getting. You could be starting a family with somebody. Okay, or somebody's getting back. What's this Queen of Wands? Somebody here could be really creative, really attractive. Queen of Wands. Maybe somebody is jealous of that. For some of you guys, you could be doing something different with your look, your hair, or something. You could be cutting it, changing the color, getting locks, I'm getting, um, growing it out, whatever. Some of you guys are also with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You could be pouring into yourself, okay? And this is like something about you. Some of you guys are really, you have a really strong connection to medusa so look up medusa look up the history of her and find a way to connect with her somebody here can have a tattoo of a snake or they can you can have a really strong energy you can have a really strong connection to serpents okay so go look that up queen of wands the hero font yeah taurus energy somebody here could be a personal trainer some of you guys could be working out more maybe some of you guys could be losing weight you could be in the gym too as well yeah, you're taking care of yourself. You're healing. You're, you're, you're taking care of your health, taking charge of your health, recovering from your finances, recovering from th dealing with certain people. I remember somebody did my Vedic. Some of you guys need to check your Vedic astrology. Because somebody had did mine, and they said I needed to work with snakes to weed out men who just want to use me for sex. So maybe some of you guys could deal with that. A lot of people that just come in. Because Scorpio energy, I'm a Scorpio moon, Scorpio Pluto, Scorpio Midhaven, Scorpio Juno, and Scorpio Lilith. I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart, Scorpio and Capricorn. And I struggle with that a lot, especially because I have Lilith in the 10th. See where you have, see what sign you have, see what what's your Lilith sign, and see where you have Lilith in your house. See, I mean, see where Lilith, I have Lilith in my 10th house. So some of you guys can have Lilith in your 10th house or your first house. Those are the two hardest houses to have Lilith in because people like demonize you, sexualize you. They just see you as some type of deviant. No matter how you try to come off, no matter how innocent you look, no matter how mature or whatever nurturing you are, they just want to demonize you strictly off of sex. So some of you guys, your sexual energy is very powerful, whether you're a man or a woman. You can have a Scorpio first house or a Scorpio rising or a 10th house. Something about you guys could be really attractive. I don't know if somebody here wanted you to conform to something. They want you to conform to what they posse of bitches or niggas or whatever this is. I don't. Absolutely not. Hero font. That's why it's good to know your birth chart. Number uh, five of pentacles here. Mercury and Taurus. Yeah. Somebody wanted, yeah, somebody wanted you to miss out or be out in the cold when it came to an opportunity. I don't know how this, somebody could have been trying to do this sexually, energetically, or physically, maybe at work or some, or school or whatever this is. Five of Pentacles. Somebody about to not have shit. Somebody, somebody ain't got no faith. And, and you know, and jealousy comes from not having faith in your abilities. Somebody has a very parvish and lack mindset. Maybe when it comes to how they look, what other people have, what they can't accomplish, like the, and then and then they do things, and then somebody here does stuff, and then it sets it sets them back. Like you just end up delaying what it is you're seeking. 
when somebody close to you has something that you want or like, feel happy for that person genuinely because then it means you're on it you're getting close to either you're on the same frequency or you're getting closer to that i don't understand that i don't understand people five of pentacles yeah the world here scorpio this could be another scorpio you're dealing with or somebody that has scorpio on their chart you could be a different sign with scorpio placements but uh the world scorpio aquarius leo and taurus energy heavy taurus here heavy scorpio Somebody could sleep around a lot. I, I just, okay. I just, I don't know. Somebody could have been saying that about you. Somebody could have been trying to be in. Somebody was too busy in your damn business. What's the world here? Somebody feels like they took something from you. What's the world? Yeah, the seven. You could have blocked somebody on social media or this person could have blocked you. Somebody could be watching somebody from fake pages too. Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. I feel like somebody's ignoring somebody's phone calls too. Or the call. Something ain't getting through. Anyways, I feel like y'all got you guys close out a chapter or a cycle. You're setting boundaries. You're standing your ground on something. Somebody here could be like trying to look on social media to see if you're still out in the cold, if you if you feel insecure, abandoned. And somebody here is just a jealous ass bitch. Like this could even be a friend of yours. Heavy Virgo here. Mm, let me shut up about Virgos. Seven of Wands. <laughs> This, is, this could be somebody that you could have worked with. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Or you don't fuck with this person. Three of, somebody here is now learning. They, they want to see if you... They, they want to block you from learning from your mistakes. They want you to accept unrequited love so you can't get your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Mars and uh, Capricorn. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. Somebody here is creating their own blockages too by their jealousy. Jealousy leads to downfall. Somebody here is not learning. They don't want to get help or they're not, they're just not getting it. Will of Fortune in reverse. Somebody's like, yeah, eight of cups. Somebody needs to walk away. Saturn and Pisces. Somebody just wants to win at all costs. Somebody can't take an L. Eight of cups. There could be a negative pattern on repeat. Eight of Cups here. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody here is lazy. You could be blocking somebody out of your energy. You need to do a return to sender or something. Eight of Swords here. Somebody's playing victim because what you walked away. Eight of Swords. Or vice versa, Cross Watcher. Somebody couldn't make up their damn mind or they didn't want to. Eight of Swords. They, somebody feels like they're trapped, restricted. They're, yeah, somebody here could have... Yeah, somebody made the wrong choice in love. They could be with this jealous-ass bitch that they, everything is blocked for them or blocked for you if you're if you're a man dealing with somebody that's like this or you're a woman and you're in this energy. Lovers here, Gemini energy. Somebody made a bad... Somebody made the wrong choice in something. This could have something to do with sex. Sexuality. What's the lovers in reverse? Yeah, five of wands. Somebody what wanted you to fight or compete for them or over them. Somebody likes when people fight and compete for them and over them. So they deal with women that I guess inflate their ego by being combative or competing. Okay. Five of wands, five of is it five of swords. You could be seeing five, five, five. Somebody plays a lot of mind games and they're a player. Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, and Leo got 555. Five, five. Somebody here could have been competing with you. They didn't want you to have love or they didn't want somebody to choose you. Five of Wands. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. This person here, somebody could be having paternity issues because with that, somebody may not be the father of a child. Emperor Aries energy because with that... Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody, 
queen of pentacles in reverse somebody's child's mother or whoever somebody chose over you this bitch gets around they could even have sex with their friend or someone that's close to them or they could have had other men somebody here and maybe somebody don't know who the father their damn child is Somebody was trying to so hard to be funny. They're going to be sitting here crying now. Emperor in reverse. This is what happened. Yeah, the Empress. Taurus Libra energy. Yeah, somebody here. This is If this is a man, this man is very feminine. This They're not a, They're not like a man, man. This person going to have Taurus or Libra in their chart or you do. This person just, they're not a man. They're just, they're, they're like, they're a girly man. <laughs> Like, they're very passive. They want to be chased. They want to be the woman. And I don't care how tough this person comes off. They want to be, they're very, they're very feminine. Somebody's feminine and masculine energies are not in good, they're not balanced. What's the Empress here? Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Moon and Sag. You could be seeing 999. Pisces here. Cancer. Capricorn. Taurus, Libra, <laughs> they got nine nine nine. This is a man who this could, this could be a man who's competing with you, Scorpio. Some of you guys got children with this person. You can't even co-parent with them properly because they're just they're a hater. They act like a bitch. This person could be on the down low. Nine of Wands in reverse. You yeah, had the strength card. Somebody got a really big ego. Yeah, somebody is extremely jealous of you. I don't know who this is. Friend, lover, I don't know who it is. Leo energy. This person could be created. There could be hostility in your workplace environment because of this jealous loser. What's this three of, Pen three of pentacles in reverse? Three of swords here. There could be a third party. For some of you guys, somebody here is laying up with a third party, whoever they live with or married to or whoever they're dating or dealing with. For those of you that got kids, you can't even co-parent with this person because this bitch is a, they're a jealous loser. And they're trying to hold on to this man for their life and have control over something or somebody. That could be why somebody feels restricted and trapped. Some, this, somebody can't even fucking leave the house. They don't even, somebody don't even have a damn social life. This could be the other baby mother or whoever this person is dating now. And for those of you that don't have kids, this could be a fake-ass friend, co-worker, whoever. Yeah, somebody is, they're grieving, they're bitter. You know, somebody here is just a bitter-ass bitch. Three of swords. That's, I mean, there's no, yeah, five of cups in reverse. Somebody here is deeply depressed. They they, uh, they could be going through Mars. This could be a Scorpio here again. So this could be Mars and Scorpio. So this could be you, Scorpio, or someone that got Scorpio in their chart or another Scorpio here. You could be a different sign watching for your Scorpio placement. Five of cups in reverse, Mars and Scorpio. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. They're just deciding to just be bitter and nasty and rack up karma. Okay, cool. Strength card. Yeah, the magician. Somebody's doing work on somebody. Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody's doing spell work to keep somebody stuck and trapped, to keep a man really passive and just really bitch made. Or oh, this is a man that's doing this, who's on the down low or who's jealous of a woman. Yeah, again, more snakes. Snakes here, snakes here, and snakes on this Medusa card. What's the magician? Yeah, Temperance here. Sagittarius here. You or somebody can have Sag or a Libra in your chart. Yeah, somebody's just a jealous hater. Bitter as hell. I don't, there's not really much else to say. Somebody's trying to create competition and all or you may this you don't even know that this person's in you this person's in competition. If somebody's in competition by their damn selves. You're minding your business, you're healing. Some of you guys, you know, if the, if somebody is doing spell work on you, you're not really feeling it. Or if you are, you know how to transmute this energy. 
It could be bringing up some things from your past, feelings of abandonment, rejection, feeling undervalued, used, and you, but you know how to transmute it. You know how to connect to yourself. The temperance is about transmuting energy. Let's, what's the wolf here? Beware of who you trust. Ace of Cups here. So something could be really disappointing with the Ace of Cups in reverse. What's the wolf here? Yeah, Knight of Swords here. Somebody could be coming in with some type of disappointing information to tell you. Okay, this could be a third party or somebody could be coming to you as a woman, coming to you as a man. May Taurus, May Gemini energy. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Six of Cups here. Somebody could still be holding repressed trauma and repressed emotions from a, a old relationship with who they got kids with or a childhood relationship or something that happened to them at, in their childhood. Somebody's really flighty. They're really in and out. Six of Cups, Scorpio, Sun Energy. A lot of Scorpio in this chart, I mean, in this reading. Somebody can have heavy Scorpio placements. Six of Cups. Yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody needs to let go and release the past. Have a good cry. Capricorn Energy. You could be seeing, oh, I got four, four, four. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the hangman. Somebody trying to steal something. Somebody trying to sacrifice somebody or steal. Somebody here stole something from somebody or they're trying to. Energetically. Yeah, this could be through sex. Somebody or, I don't know, some type of energy work. Sex work. I don't know. Nine of cups, Pisces, Aquarius here. Somebody could be on a download. They can sleep around a lot. Somebody's really insincere with their intentions and their feelings. And I feel like you're walking away from this person, man or woman. The hangman, Pisces energy. Yeah, seven of cups. Something could be happening in your dream state. Somebody could be uh, thinking of you, feeling nostalgic. Seven of cups here, Venus and Scorpio, more Scorpio. Yeah, y'all, somebody here needs to get out of some type of illusion. Seven of Cups. Yeah, the death card in reverse. Somebody can't let the past go. They could have lost something or somebody of value, which could be you. Death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, somebody don't know how to transform or somebody's resisting change. They don't know how to change. They won't let go. They want to, instead of somebody changing, they want to see how they can take from other people energetically. Yeah, somebody could be doing uh, spell work on you, spying to see what you have coming in or they're, or they're, they're using your energy, sex. You could be having like weird sex dreams and all types of things here. Somebody's trying to do the siphon your energy. They don't want to change. They don't want to do the work, but they want to take from you and block your blessings all because they're jealous. Knight of Swords here. Yeah, Two of Cups about a connection. This could even be a friend of y'all's. I'm telling you, this is a friend. Somebody got a fake ass friend around them. That's greedy, selfish, you're never fucking satisfied. Or this could be a couple that's doing this, Venus and Cancer, or people that are in cahoots together, working as a team. That could be the betrayal too. You'd be surprised. It's like, oh, okay. Two of Cups. Yeah, two, a two-faced ass friend or a two-faced ass person. Somebody here could have got paid or somebody's trying to exploit your energy. Moon, uh, Moon and Libra here. Maybe somebody could make up their mind or whatever the hell this is. Somebody's heart could be closed off. They didn't. They were uncompromised and they didn't really want to give. You could have overextended yourself or overgave to it, or you would have, and you, you would have repeated the cycle by doing that. Two of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody's very insincere. Somebody could be sending you people purposely that don't have good intentions, or they or they tried to hook you up with somebody who they knew didn't have good intentions on purpose. Yeah, somebody has secret animosity told you. They, they're trying to get your inheritance. They don't want you to get to this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, I guess, before them. They don't want... Uh, okay. Okay. Somebody need to work on your root chakra. You need to get to the root cause of maybe... Somebody here needs to get to the root cause of why they even feel jealous or envious of certain things. That's a lack mentality. That's like a scarcity mindset. When you feel when you feel this jealous to the point where you're trying to sabotage things for other people, you can't really be happy for other people. That's because you deep down believe that you can't have what they have. But somebody here is very insincere and two-faced. Nine of Cups in reverse. 
Yeah, Eight of Wands. Somebody could be coming to you, texting you some type of information, some bad news. This person is, this is a fake ass friend, a fake bitch. I don't know who this is, but don't, I, I wouldn't take nothing, I'll take what this person says with a grain of salt, whether it's another man, another woman, take, take it with a grain of salt. Somebody here is really sneaky and they're jealous, so they're going to do anything to come out on top. Somebody here doesn't, they don't like, they're a sore loser. Somebody doesn't, they don't like to feel like they're losing or they don't, somebody wants to feel like they have more things than other people. They can't, okay, they can have more than you and still... Is not enough. AAA, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. <laughs> you or somebody can have Virgo in a chart, moon rising or Venus or Virgo, sun. September Virgo, heavy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, they got 888. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sag. Somebody coming to you with some bullshit ass. Okay. Yeah, Two of Wands. They're trying to. Somebody, and you know what's crazy? Somebody here didn't follow their heart. And somebody here could have been confused. I, either, either somebody here could have gotten a text or a phone call from somebody from their past or they could have went backwards or they could have been indecisive about you and maybe they didn't express that to you for others of you this could be a fake ass friend who put some who put some who put something in somebody's ear about you so somebody here wouldn't take you serious or so you wouldn't take somebody serious somebody could have even got paid to do this two of wands uh aries mars two of wands in reverse yeah ten of cups This could be somebody in your family or somebody in this person's family or a friend that you consider like family or that somebody that you grew up with that you knew for a long time. Especially if y'all have mutual friends or y'all know mutual people. Something is very fishy. Somebody here is also a troublemaker. I'm telling you, this is the, whoever the jealous person is, they're a troublemaker. They play, somebody here plays both sides. They like to see people fight, argue. They, they like to start drama. This person feels stuck in their life. And, and you know, somebody here is just, they never going to change. It don't matter how old somebody is. Somebody got secret animosity, ten of cups. Yeah, somebody's two-faced. Yeah, look at this fucking devil. Somebody's obsessed. Capricorn. Somebody, this could be who somebody got a family with. Somebody could have slept around and, and, and created a family outside of a connection. Yeah, somebody got a demon. Somebody is ran by a fucking demon or entity. What's the devil? Somebody's just obsessed. Yeah, somebody is just very their con artist. Star here, Aquarius energy. They're a fraud. Somebody's been trying to energy harvest. Some of y'all could have been having a hard time with your fertility and things. Like somebody's been like harvesting energy. Somebody got addiction. Somebody here could be trying to deplete or take on somebody's essence. I'm telling you, energy harvest. Death card in reverse. All because they don't want to change and do the work. Yeah, pay, and because they're jealous. Somebody here could be getting bad news. While they're at work or maybe somebody has to leave work early. Somebody, August Virgo, August Leo, September Virgo. The Virgo here is heavy. Leo here is heavy. Mm. Virgo energy with that eight of pentacles. <sighs> Let's get some uh, oracles. Yeah, love. Somebody feels like they want a jackpot. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, a sacrifice. Number 18. Ceremony, mystery, and magic. Something was like a, a a sacrifice, and we and this full moon is in Pisces today. Jackpot, jack fortune, luck, jackpot, fortune, and reward. No, somebody, this wasn't whatever somebody got off of somebody else's energy. This could even be a baby, a child. Somebody's gonna be getting bad news about that. Number three, somebody could be born on the third, the seventh, the eighth. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh, or the fifth, or the ninth. Oh, we won here. We got something. Somebody's been trying to take on somebody else's essence. Self-love. 
Number 43, self-concern, self-healing, or independence. If it's not about that, right, about a child or somebody trying to, heart, you know, people be doing shit to kids too. Um, this could even be somebody that's trying to play on a wound, a weak spot of yours, an insecurity that you may have, that you haven't really transmuted. And they're trying to, this could even, yeah, they could be trying to play on that. Yeah, comp yeah, look at this compromise. Number 33, agreement, reconciliation, and consideration. Yeah, no, I wouldn't get back with this person. They're a snake. A number seven. This person gonna come in like they're trying to help you. No, it's a dirty offer. A mercy, charity, kindness. Somebody here acts like they're sweet and innocent, but they're not. Somebody here wears a mask. And they're really good at this. Friend, family member, whoever, ex, coach, number five. Somebody here could have been coached on how to do this. But they're supposed to be a mentor, a leader, a manager, or somebody with principles, and no. Yeah, collaboration. This is a group of people. Yeah, now somebody else, oh, somebody could want to apologize because something could be coming out in a tarot reading with this fate here. You see how she's a tarot reader? Somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant. Okay. Maybe somebody feels restricted. Okay. Saving. Yeah. Trapped. Somebody could feel trapped. Okay. Anyways, whatever somebody got off of somebody else's energy, they're not going to enjoy it. They're just not. Advice, obedience, and knowledge. Yeah, collaboration, backup, unity, and enhancement. I mean, this was a group effort. It wasn't just one person. Yeah, family, number 46, bond, home, background, eternal. Talking about this could have been with the king and queen of pentacles. That's a very long-term couple. They're either married or they've been together for like 10 plus years at least. This could be somebody that you've known for 10 plus years at least. Friends, exes, family, whoever. Who, somebody y'all got kids with, what else? Yeah, homeless, number 53, donate, failure, cast away, and poor. Yeah, somebody was trying to affect, your home is protected, your stability is protected. Somebody here was trying to affect somebody's, like, stability. Yeah, third wheel, number 37, enemy, distrust, and flirtatiousness. Yeah, I'm telling you, in conflict, I'm, there, a friend has, I'm, there's a friend or a third party that got in the way of something that was trying to compete. Yeah, now somebody's suffering here. They're going through nightmares. They they feel guilty. They're haunted. Yeah, because somebody's a jealous. Somebody's really a jealous bitch. This person could be sick now. Like you're gonna like I I mean it's like things aren't going your way. You got bigger, you got bigger fish to fry. I don't and that's why the universe be doing what they be doing. Cause like how do you okay? Sweet dreams, satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day, number 39. Yeah, curse, hate, catastrophe, and misfortune. Yeah, somebody's going through it. Somebody cursed them damn selves. Relax. Some of you guys could need to relax, get some more rest. You could be a bit tired. Number 69, peace, tranquility, and easiness. Yeah. Hesitation. And we have stop. So y'all could need to take a break or before you do something that you're going to regret or before you do something that's going to go back on you, I would not do it. Or cross watcher. Yeah, imagination. Number 63. Variety, fantasy, and mind. Yeah, somebody here is like a little girl, little boy. Yeah, indulgence. It's like the three of cups. Interaction, joy, and friendliness. Yeah, and marinade and disturbance. Illness, real estate, pride, blind. Somebody act like they don't know. Yeah, okay. We got, yeah, but something about a friend who's a puppet or somebody, somebody put, you can see, look how she's controlling this man's mind. This could be a third party or friend of somebody's dictatorship, domination, reluctance, obscure, irritation, and supernatural. Somebody here has an entity on them. Seriously. They, somebody here has given up on themselves. They don't got nothing to lose. So it's like, well, I'm just going to attack people or attack Scorpio or attack Cross Watcher. Because they have something I don't, or I'm miserable and unhappy, or I don't want them to have shit. Just even if I have more than them, I just, I'm a jealous bit. I'm jealous and bitter. So somebody here is like a little kid. Somebody here needs to grow up. What's the imagination? Somebody here could be trying to gaslight you and make you, yes, make you feel like you don't know what you're talking about, or you don't know what you're seeing. Yes, it's like a sacrifice. Somebody could have been using somebody's yearbook pictures or a photo, something about a photo album, yearbook pictures and all types of stuff. Somebody had help doing something. I'm going to just put it like that. 
donation praying religion somebody here could be really so core religious but they be doing dark shit too marriage making or they like oh i believe in god and ah, 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 or i'm really spiritual or i'm or somebody may not they think they are god number 64 marriage making goodness humanness and mora morality somebody don't have that they're ran by a demon number i don't care how nice somebody acts number 77 stubbornness self selfness malicious attitude and arrogance yes somebody thinks they know everything or they're, they're unteachable. But yet things are still not going for in somebody's favor. They're still not getting whatever they want out of life. They're not getting it. And if they get, and if they did get it from somebody else's energy, they're not going to enjoy it. It's going to be a defect. I hate to say it like that, but that's just what it's going to be. Whether it's a relationship, whatever it is, it's going to be a defect. It's going to it's going to be <laughs> like a, a defect. Somebody's not going to be happy. Or because of jealousy. I just, I don't understand people. Jealousy, what they call it? Jealousy is a is a sickness. Get well soon. <laughs> like, I don't, I mean, with that star in reverse, somebody here could be sick. Somebody has really bad attachments. A lot of negative attachments. Somebody just don't have no hope, no faith. That's where this really stems from. This, this, this level of jealousy stems from a really dark place of lack. Like, you really got to believe that you will never get what you want. I don't, you know. Somebody could be going to their altar. Somebody can have an altar or, or, or somebody in a jar or all types of little items and shit. Blood and all blood, sacrifice, you know, all types of weird stuff. And it's not weird. That stuff isn't weird when it's being used for good reasons. But when you're doing things out of sheer jealousy, just because you're jealous of somebody else and they didn't do nothing to you, like you're not gonna you're not gonna get the life you want or deserve, or because you bitter about you stuck in the past or they broke your heart or you feel just bitter about people breaking yours and you I don't whatever. But this could be a couple that's doing this. I don't know, maybe they're in on this together. But they asked is about to be in for a rude awakening. Yeah, and, and, and this person is going to, they're going to need your help. <laughs> the same person who betrayed you is going to want to, they're going to need your help. They, they want you to, they want to abuse your humility, your kindness. They want to take your kindness for weakness. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck not. You don't have to prove that you're, that you have humility. Somebody here is not humble. They're nasty. They're jealous. They're lazy. They're two-faced. They they judge others but don't look at themselves. Yeah, this person could be experiencing death. Or you guys could have experienced a death here, my condolences. A grandparent or a parent. Endless harm, inevitable. Yeah, something's going to be inevitable. I don't know why people do what they do, but hey. They got to learn. Somebody got to learn the hard way, I guess. Yeah, somebody here could be going through a loss of a pet, a person, bereavement, sorrow, and damage. Yeah, I just feel like somebody could have gone through a lot of losses in life, and they don't know how to transmute that. So they just want to take shortcuts. They just want to, they don't want to take risks, but they put themselves at risk in other ways that are not good. They don't take healthy risks. They don't really invest in themselves. They don't really commit to themselves. They want to take things from other people. However that is, they don't know how to, no. Somebody here is very, very, uh, I said, I'm about to say diabolical, but this was diabolical. Somebody here is very uh, gullible, naive, very childlike. Somebody's like very immature, very immature. They have a lot of work to do. Somebody's stuck in their soft nose. They're arrogant. They got a chip on their shoulder. I don't know how you can be this arrogant when you don't have shit to your name. Um, you got to steal things from other people, whether you're a scammer, whether you got to do, whether you're a witch, whatever it is, or or a dark witch, or whatever that you know. But this is your reading. Yeah, somebody fell into their own trap, victim, allure, and trick, or somebody here trying to trick you. Somebody here could have tricked somebody into a commitment or a marriage, and they're miserable. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah, you guys are remaining calm. You're transmuting this energy. Whatever's coming up to the surface, if your own jealous feelings and thoughts are coming up, you know how to transmute it. If you have some type of resentment or feelings about some things, you know how to transmute it, period. 
But if somebody let a third party or whatever, they let whatever they didn't feel and mourn over get in the way of something between y'all. Or this is you or they let somebody else get in their ear. This is your reading, like, or they let their jealousy, again, jealousy leads to downfall. Whether they were jealous of you or your person. This was your reading, Scorpio. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Go watch your last reading I did for you. Whether you saw it or not, go watch it again. And if you didn't, go watch it.